carried out ministry in this community. About a month ago, we had one of our most successful ministry events ever here. We uh, sponsored a community outreach where we brought people together for the purpose of ending violence in this neighborhood. There was great Christian music by bands and Christian rappers. We had former gang members who gave testimonies. Uh, Mayor Funkhauser spoke along with a high-ranking official of the Kansas City Police Department. And the, e and the evening concluded with uh, Bishop John Birmingham of Harvest Connection Ministries preaching the gospel with over 20 people uh, responding to that message of hope. This was really a great event and we're hoping to do this at the milestone this spring. I would appreciate your prayers because there's a lot of violence and a lot of problems in our city, which I think the only answer is our God and seeking Him in prayer. On a personal note, I just wanted to tell you that my wife, Linda, has been di diagnosed with basal cancer. Now that's the most curable of all cancers, and doctors do not seem to be worried about it, but I would appreciate your prayers for her. God bless you, and we pray that you have a great day. New in the first five, the FBI is calling a portion of Kansas City the sixth most violent community in the nation. That's thanks in part to the murders, gang activity, drive-by shootings, and violence that plagues that area. It is because of this community and church leaders got together today, taking a stand against all the violence. The area in question runs from the 3300 block of Indiana to Linwood in Kansas City, Missouri. I don't want to do a lot of symbolism. I don't want to do a lot of ribbon cutting and all that kind of stuff. I want to make a real difference in the lives of folks in Kansas City. School supplies were also handed out at today's event to the first 100 kids who showed up with a parent. Tonight, two violence rally at East 33rd and in Indiana. Organizers say they're tired of the killings and shootings. If we can get just a couple of people to talk to family members or, or even friends or neighbors and stop some kind of violence and the shootings that are going on, that's all the better for us. Several community leaders came to speak and musicians performed with a message of peace.